Okay, we're back and welcome to my second video for 1938 Square Amusements Rollerball Ski Ball Machine. And this is the uh, board that uh, sits at the top of the machine. It has the light bulbs in the front for the uh, back glass. And this has got two stepper units in it. And if you remember in video one, we showed you how dirty this was. It was a mess. And uh, so what we did was is we cleaned up the whole unit. We're going to show you what we did here. A uh, couple of things is we cleaned the female ends on these. And uh, the trick that I use for this stuff is I take a Q-tip and I take a lot of the Q-tip off the end of it and just leave very little. And then I dunk, dink it or dunk it in non-acetone nail polish remover. And that does really good for getting corrosion and carbon and all that buildup off in there. So when you put your plugs back in, you'll, uh, you'll uh, get better continuity. And as you can see, here's the step up unit right here. You can see before, when we showed it to you, it, you couldn't even see these. They were so dark and, and uh, gunky looking and that. Uh, so we're going to show you how that came out. But... Uh, we uh, soldered this wire here. It was a bad connection for this coil. Puts, they didn't have any. They had a break in this uh, wire here that was sort of just tied together. So we put some electrical tape on it. And uh, we cleaned up the uh, stepper unit. We removed this, uh, you know, took the screws off and removed it out. And uh, let's see how it functions here. We're going to step it up. So two, three four, five, six, seven, and you'll watch, see this, uh, you'll see this switch here, it's going to separate when it gets up to nine, there it goes, see how there's a gap there, yep, now it's gapped, and there actually is a tenth one, and you can see over here that this is now closed, now we're going to reset it, and it goes to the zero position, and as you can see, that causes this switch right here to open while this one is closed over here. So we cleaned up the switches, we filed them, the points, and obviously we did underneath here. You can see how nice and clean and that's lubed. Clean this little lifter contact plate right here. You can see. So this works really well. Once the machine will start and it starts counting balls, it'll count them all the way up to nine. And when it gets there, you put a new coin in. This this uh, solenoid coil will fire, and it'll reset to the zero first position. So that one's done. Let's uh, move on over here to this one right here. Again, these this was really bad inside here. You couldn't even really see these that well. You can see they're all cleaned up, and I lubed them. Put some uh, some super gel on it. It's a uh, grease that won't harden, and a little oil over the top of it. And this thing is flying now. Um, clean. We did a lot of cleaning on it. Oiled a lot of the pivot points on these mechanisms that move, and check the springs for tension. The one problem that we did have was the spring down here. It wasn't taut enough, so we fixed that. Uh, what was happening was is when we pushed in this it wouldn't it wouldn't come out now it comes out every time and it steps up like it's supposed to you can sort of see it stepping every time it goes in so uh, what happens is is this coil will fire when you score when you get a ball and let's say it gets into the 30 hole so um, it'll fire once twice three times that'll give you 30 points and then you get a 60 it'll fire six times and every time this steps up, you can see that moving, it adds score to the front of the game on the back glass. See how that moves up? And it goes all the way around. And it keeps stepping up. So that's how that works. So it'll keep going all the way around in a big circle. And then what happens is when the game's over, okay, and you put another coin in, when this coil fires, you'll see resets to the zero position. You see how it's reset down there all the way to the bottom. And then uh, if you start pushing the stepper here, it'll start making its climb back up. And that's how it scores. That's how it's done. So these are all, this is all cleaned up and, uh, and working correctly. 
and uh, resetting correctly. So we're resetting the coils by hand. Once the game starts, uh, you know it'll it'll be done under power, and the uh, coils will energize and perform their functions. Um, again, we cleaned this female plug with the uh, non-acetone nail polish remover, lubed all the pivot points on this stepper, and um, we cleaned uh, this rod here. It was real dirty. We were able to get most of it out, clean it, and it's dry like it's supposed to be. We also cleaned this rod too, so that's nice and dry. So there you go. The two steppers are working and performing uh, the way they should be. They're clean. They have good contact, and I'm looking forward to plugging this into the game. The next video we do will show the game uh, working and scoring, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, in the front here, we took all the light bulbs out, every one of them, and we cleaned every socket on all of these. Uh, again, Q-tips and non-acetone nail polish remover. Uh, swipe, swab it twice. You circle in a circle. Get, just get it in there and circle it around and then dip it again and circle it around and so that's how you clean those it gets a lot of that carbon and crap off there and then actually I did that to each light bulb also and these are vintage nice conditioned light bulbs uh, two of them are broken so we're gonna have to get some uh, stop at the store here uh, there's an amusement store in, in Rochester and see if we can get some bulbs for this the ones that are missing but they, all the rest of them look really good and they're they're all cleaned up and ready to go so there you go so all right well there you go we're going to turn the board back around this is Mickey from coinopny.com coinopnewyork.com I restore vintage coin operated machines pinballs jukeboxes ski ball machines ball bowlers anything coin operated uh, that's electromechanical um, if you have an old machine you want to sell, give me a call. My number is 585-747-0605. I'm located in Rochester, New York. If you need help, you need an appraisal, you need repair advice, pick up the phone, give me a call. My name is Mickey. And if you want to check me out on the internet, go to coinopny.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.